Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Today's devotional is titled, A Wonderful Pause, written by Judith Stone. Today's biblical base comes from Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. So says the word of God. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed do enter that rest as he has said, So I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works, and again in this place they shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains that some must enter it, and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience. Amen. Saturday is a holy day. A day of rejoicing, of rest, of relaxation, and to enjoy being in the presence of God. Leaving aside all the weight of sin that surrounds us, we can, on that day, experience, even in a small way, what eternity with God will be like. Can you imagine the eternal rest that will never be broken? I remember since I was a child, I appreciated the beauty of this day and the kindness of God to provide it, and I have always enjoyed it with gladness. For I don't remember any time when I've been recharged like I am on the Holy Sabbath. On the contrary, it has been a source of relief for my worries, rest for my body, and comfort for my soul. Because sometimes, let's face it and be real, the struggles of the other six days can be so exhausting and so great that if there wasn't the wonderful pause which we have on the seventh day, the Sabbath, I don't know what would become of our lives. Therefore, rejoice in the Lord, praise His name with joy, recognize that this is the day that the Lord created from the foundation of the world, especially made for you, for your needs. You will be filled with its glory to take strength and begin a new week, that in the end, you will have another wonderful pause with our God. Stop your hectic steps and rest joyfully on the Lord's day. Amen. Hold me now in the hands I created the heavens. Find me now. Where the grace runs as deep as your scars You pulled me from the clay Set me on a rock You called me by your name Made my heart whole again Lift it up and the knees know it's all for your glory That I might stand with more reasons to sing than to fear You pulled me from the clay That set me on a rock That called me by your name Made my heart whole again. So here I stand, high and surrender. I need you now. Hold my heart now and forever. My 
my soul cries out once I was broken But you love my whole heart through Sin has no hold on me Cause your grace holds me now And that grace Owns the ground where the grave did All my shame remains Left for dead in your way You crash those angel gates You left no stone unturned You stepped out of that grave And showed me all the way So here I stand High in surrender I need you And hold my heart And now and forever My soul cries out Once I was broken But you love my whole heart through Sin has no hold on me Cause your grace holds me now The healed and forgiven Chains are now Death has no hold on me Cause your grace holds that ground And your grace holds me now And your grace holds me now And your grace holds me now And your grace holds me Surrender, I need you now. Hold my heart now and forever. My soul cries out. So here I stand, high and surrender. I need you now. Hold my heart and now and forever. My soul. You rise out once I was broken, but you love my whole heart through. Sin has no hold on me, cause your grace holds me now. I'm healed and forgiven, and look where my chains are now. Death has no hold on me Cause your grace holds that ground Your grace holds me now And your grace holds me now